After spending six months in the Carmen, some of my first impressions turned out to be wrong. In some ways, the chair got better over time, but there are still a couple big issues that I want to warn you about. I covered a lot of the details and background of the chair in my first impression video, so this video will focus on comfort. The backrest comfort on the Carmen is one part of the chair that only got better over time. The mesh backrest gives you a suspended feeling, spreading out your weight throughout the whole backrest. But at the same time, it also makes you feel cradled in the chair. The steel case gesture is the closest comparison I can see. And it's only more impressive that the Carmen can bring the same coziness, but in a mesh chair. One of my favorite features of high-end ergonomic chairs is their ability to flex with you as you move around in the chair. And after testing hundreds of chairs, it's pretty clear that this is not a common feature in mesh office chairs. Mesh chairs typically require a hard frame to stretch the mesh across. The Carmen is the first mesh chair I've come across with a truly flexible backrest frame and seat frame. I love how the top portion of the backrest flexes as I push my shoulders into the back of the frame. And because there is some flexibility in the backrest frame, it manages to stay comfortable even when you aren't perfectly centered on the chair. Backrest comfort is closely tied in with how much lumbar support a chair provides. I found that the Carmen has plenty of lumbar support built into the shape of the backrest. I typically like a good amount of lower support, and with the Carmen I wasn't disappointed. I would only add the additional support if you feel like you need a little extra support on your mid to upper back. When placed in the lower lumbar area, I could barely feel it. The last thing about the additional lumbar, unfortunately the materials are subpar and don't match up to the high-end construction you see in the rest of the chair. The seat comfort on the Carmen ranks highly as one of the best mesh seats I've ever sat in. Mesh seats have a few common problems. They are either very firm like the Herman Miller Aeron, or the mesh is too loose and you sink too far in and hit the frame, and sometimes the front edge has issues so your legs are uncomfortable. Finally, some have a hard, inflexible frame. The Carmen thankfully has none of these problems. With some innovative design, Steelcase added a pad under the suspended mesh. This allows the mesh to be less firm so you can sink down into the pad. This design solved the firm seat and the sinking problems. Steelcase solved the last two problems, the front edge and hard frame, by adding some flex to the seat frame. The mesh transitions nicely into the front edge of the frame without any bunching up. It stays supportive without digging into your thighs. Unfortunately, the seat is still not perfect. Speaking of the word perfect, no chair is perfect. Even if you have the opportunity to take pieces from different chairs and put them together, you still won't be there. Now Greg got awfully close when he combined the Leap and a Mia to make a La Mia, but I know even he would admit that no chair is 100% S-tier, so we want to find the best possible option for our money. Okay, sorry for the mini rant there. The reason the seat is still not perfect is that the frame is still harder than what you find in an upholstered padded seat, and the frame is hard enough to make some seating positions not super comfortable. When I first reviewed the chair, I thought sitting with one leg crossed under the other leg was impossible. After trying this some more, especially with no shoes on, I found it's doable and can actually be comfortable for a short amount of time. Now the real issue with the seat I just can't get past is the seat depth. At 6 foot 2, my legs are hanging too far off of the front of the seat. Even when sitting perfectly, ergonomically, I am still finding I want more support under my legs. Now if you're under 6 foot or have shorter legs, I wouldn't think that the seat would be as much of an issue. But even Ryan here at BTOD who is 5'9 thought he could use a little bit more seat depth. Since I'm focusing on comfort in this video, I can't ignore what Steelcase calls the comfort dial on the Carmen. This dial gives you four different options on how you want the chair to recline. The four options are weight activated full recline, a tension boost with approximately 20% more resistance than your body provides, mid stop recline setting with the 20% boost, and finally an upright lock. I'm very picky about my recline tension. I like to find that perfect spot mid-recline and stay in that position to work. And the Carmen feels just right at that 20% boost setting. This is not the deep, smooth recline that you get from any of the Herman Miller chairs, but I do think it's as good, if not better, than the steel case gesture. Unfortunately, the arms are a pretty big disappointment on the Carmen. I've become so accustomed to steel cases chairs having excellent arms. Leading the way are the Gesture and the Leap, with some of, if not the best arms in the category. The problem is, Steelcase proved they could fit premium arms into a mid-tier package with their EMEA and Think chairs. Both these chairs are similar in price to the Carmen. 
I found that Carmen's arms were fine for general tasking, both in adjustment and comfort, but they're just not great for relaxing. Using a device with these arms is not a great experience because the pads are just too hard. They remind me more of arm pads from budget chairs where the edge is hard and they have a softer middle. I also found it's quite easy to get pinched by the arm pad sliding adjustments. So if you're the type that likes to fidget with your chair arms, this might be a concern. I do love the looks of the arms as they feel really custom designed for the chair. They are also tight in the sense that they stay where you want them to be without a lot of play. One other positive is that they have relatively large adjustment ranges, so they should fit most users quite well. Currently, Steelcase has free returns, giving you a chance to see if the Carmen's arms provide enough comfort for you. Build quality can indirectly affect comfort, and to me it's an important consideration. The materials on the Carmen are well made and everything was designed to fit well together. The opaque mesh fabric of our Carmen is very soft and excellent quality. In talking with Steelcase, I learned that you should expect the same experience using either the mesh or the opaque fabric. The fabric will just feel a bit softer. It's definitely too soon to say how well the Carmen will hold up over time, but I expect it to outlive its 12-year warranty. All things considered, the Carmen is not great for me personally as someone who is 6'2", but if you're shorter and fit the smaller seat size, then it's a good chair to consider.